Good evening everyone, 6pm Saturday evening. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and say hi to me in Studio 3 today. It's lovely to see you all. I'm not eating a chocolate orange like someone has just suggested. I promise you I'm not. I have my water. I'm oh, sorry about that. I'll just give a good reach for it here. I have my water and I'm all good to go. Have I got some exciting news for you? Are we all giddy kippers? Yeah. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button. That's what it's all about. I'm here on the evenings now for our lovely USA followers. So don't forget to click that subscribe button. Now, the, I have just had a quick shower and the hair's a little bit leery, but I'm really good to go. I'm so excited. I hope you're all well. I will do a shout out. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And there is that little um, bell as well to give you that half an hour notice every time I go live. So no matter where you are in the world, you are going to get those notifications. Because as you can see, we are being quite random with our evening studios. We're testing the water. We're seeing what times work. If you are on our YouTube channel right now, we have done a poll on there. If you go to our community tab on YouTube, you will see I've popped a poll on there with some times. If you could take two minutes out of your time to just go and click which one you think would work better for you. It just gives me sort of an idea of when to do studios of an evening, when's best for everybody. Because some of them might be too late, some might be too early. And I might just catch some people in the middle. So there is a poll on there on the community tab on our YouTube channel. Take the time to go and do it because it's for you when we do these live studios. So if you are tuning in for the very first time, welcome to the How to Craft Network. My name is Tony Derrick and this is just a fabulous place to come. And today we're just going to go wild with some products that I know you've all got in your stash. And they build and they build and they build and you just have no outlet for them. And you're like, I've just got more of these than I have actually these. And I'll talk about that in a second. Now, I have Stamps by Me USA, Stamps by Me, Stamps by Me. I have YouTube. I have the How to Craft Network. So I'll just do a quick shout out and then we'll jump straight in. We are going to have some fun this evening. It's Saturday night and I thought we'd sort of like spruce it up a little bit by uh, playing a little bit of a game along the way. Now, the it's not a game. It's sort of just to make a bit of fun out of this evening sort of live. I am going to do a, a tutorial as well. Um, but basically, as you all know, we have our celebrity guest attending um, the How to Craft Network Studio One on Monday for a live show at one o'clock. It's going to be amazing. I know I always say I'm excited and I do get very excited about anything really to do with craft, whether it be another person, a product. I just love craft in general, so I'm always excited about those sorts of things. But on this occasion, it's so special. I cannot tell you the person that's coming to studio on Monday. It means so much to me and I can't actually believe it's happening. I cannot tell you. So what I'm going to do throughout the course of this evening is I'm going to give a clue. I'm going to give several clues, but I don't want you to guess who it is. And then at the end, I have my timer and then I'm going to click the timer across and you have two minutes to basically type away who you think the guest is after all the clues. How about that? Just for a little bit of fun. Now, if you have come for the inspiration, just mute me. You'll still catch the inspiration because I'm still going to be crafting as I'm talking about it. So just mute the fun side of it if that if you're not interested in that at all. But I just thought it was a great way to interact this evening. And then you're all going to find out at the end of the show who's coming on Monday. So I've been trying to think of very different ways to sort of like tell you what's going on. So it's a soup. It's just so cool. I'm so excited as you are. I'm sure you are. So Adele, the community tab, if you go to our YouTube channel, across the top you have like videos, you have lives, um, um, playlist, and then I think it's just the one after that somewhere, Adele, on there, sweetheart. So question, question, who is FaceTiming me tonight? Nobody. We've sorted it so that doesn't happen. You watch. Neighbours going to bang um, on our unit door when the fire alarm goes off because we had the fire alarm going off in the unit behind us. Oh tell you neighbors will be banging out dog when fire alarms going off on your building again i'm like anyway no to this evening is going to be just perfect i can just feel it apart from the wild hair it's a bit wild isn't it but it's good it's all good who cares about my hair it's about this evening so a couple of things i will do a shout out i promise just one second i'm just going to go through a, a few admin things the create together club that's this Monday, one o'clock. Now, you all should have your stamps. The second stamp is this one. It's this beautiful one. Um, just a note. Beautiful notes. 
getting confused and a note to say you will have this one you will have had the inspiration for this one this is the latest one um you should all have it i know a lot of you bought it yesterday and have bought some this morning we will get them out to you as quick as you can i have told the girls that any any purchases done next week because i know you're wanting to get involved um are to be sent straight away next day so you'll get them through the door and you'll be able to craft along so the inspiration for the create together club starts monday one o'clock and it's for seven shows it can be over the course of seven days or it's just going to be seven shows throughout maybe four or five days we'll just have to see how it goes but you get seven days of inspiration on the one stamp the inspiration never goes away you can go back and watch it anytime as you can this one but if you want to wait till the third stamp is released to buy create together club to see the third one because you like to see what you're buying then you can absolutely do that but if you like me a little surprise on your doorstep when you've forgotten about it is such an uplift makes you feel great so that is the Create Together Club. If you are wanting to get involved in that, just go to the website and pop Create in the box and it comes straight up for you there. Let's have a shout out now I've got that out of the way. So let's have a look. Where to look first? Right, let's do YouTube first. So if you are on YouTube, brilliant, you can interact. If you are on other social media platforms, I will try my best not to miss them. The best place to go is YouTube. But equally, you can watch anywhere you want. There are no rules, okay? So just enjoy the platform that you're on. So let's have a shout out. Whereabouts are we all in the world? And what's the weather like? I always like to know what the weather's like. And I always like to know where you're all from. So let's have a look. So hi, hi Julie Barlow. Julie Stamps coming on Monday. Brilliant. I'm so excited for you. Um, Emma Blake, Tony, I don't have mine. Kiss, kiss, cry, cry. Oh gosh, Emma, don't worry about it. We'll get you sorted. Philomena in Ireland. She hasn't told me where she lives, but I know where she lives. And her stamp has arrived. I've got Monday off work, Sue says, so she's going to get excited about that. It's brilliant, isn't it, when you can craft along? It's absolutely brilliant. So Elizabeth Falconer has received her stamp yesterday. Question, question. I don't, I, I don't know what it is. Have you seen the Ray's mum yet, Tony? I'm not sure what that means. Sorry, Adele. Looking forward to the inspiration next week, Karen. Oh, Henry. No, it's all sorted, Adele. Don't you worry about that. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Karen. I can multitask. You're absolutely right. Christine. Hi, Michaela. Hi, Joe. Hi, Anne from Sunny Sheffield. Chris is from Liverpool. Oh, Teresa's from Manchester and it's 15 degrees. Gosh, there's lots of you on today. Joan is from Osset. Wow, just down the road, Osset. Trudy Unsworth is from Kent and it's been hot. I think everybody's had the sunshine, haven't they? Such an amazing... Doesn't it make you feel great when the weather's amazing? Right, let's just switch on to another platform then very quickly. So, hi, Brenda Denice. Hi, Michelle Golding. Let's just arrow it up on this one. Hi, Idy, maybe. She was waiting on countdown so she didn't forget the show. Well done. Um, Dorothy, hi Dorothy, um, let's just make sure I've not missed anybody out, Emma's on both, hi boss, what are you doing on both Emma, and then on Stamps By Me Limited, hi Pat Pepper, hi Liz Cotton from Manchester, it's been gorgeous hasn't it, Leslie Lawton from Nottingham, and then we have Joan Donaldson from Northern Ireland, the weather is beautiful, so I will continue to do shouts out, okay, so keep them coming, Angela's had a lovely crafty afternoon. Hi, Tony. I'm from Lepton in West Yorkshire. Sue and David Britton, West Yorkshire. West Yorkshire, West Yorkshire. So shall we get straight into what's going on? So first clue, you need to write this down, okay? Don't start flooding the um, feed with your guesses. You can only guess at the last. When I've given the last one and I give you that two-minute one and you can all fire away with who you might, might be. You probably know who it's going to be from when I get to clue number five. Oh, I'm not sure. So clue number one. This female um, is not just a crafter. She's also a public speaker. Hmm. Leave it with you. Don't, don't, don't tell anybody. Keep that one. Have a think about it while we're doing our demonstrations. So in today's studio, we are going to use the Time to Grow collection. Now it's this beautiful one, let me just show you here. Can we remember this one? Lots of you have this one now. Because it's an extra special show, because I have the announcement of our guest coming on Monday, I am gonna do a giveaway of this collection. But I do appreciate lots of you 
have this collection because a lot of you bought it because we sold nearly a thousand of them at launch. Um, so what I'm gonna do is if you have this collection and you win the competition, you can pick an alternative on my website. Is that okay? So all you need to do after we've gone off air, after we've finished our show, pop a comment underneath this live video uh, about the show. Are you excited about what I'm about to tell you or anything, as long as it's nice. And I'll pick a winner for this paper collection. And then when that person messages me, if they say they've already got it, you can swap it for something else on the website. I want you all to get involved. I want everybody to get involved. It's Saturday evening. We just need to have some fun. It's a beautiful day. Why not? So let's just show you what it is very quickly. I'm not going to go into great detail here. I'll just very quickly show you one of the paper pads. It's a stunning collection. If you if you are interested in it, you can get it on the website. All you need to do is pop time to grow into the website. It's just amazing. So they all look the same on the front, but ladies and gents, they're so not inside. They this one is papers. But let me just show you as you go down in size very quickly. Oh, Lynn missed the collection, she's on a budget. Okay, well, make sure you pop a comment underneath this video when we go off air. And these are your toppers. Can we see these here? And it's different. You get your postcards, your tags, your toppers. I mean, look at this, it looks so 3D. And I don't think I've had the chance to actually demonstrate this one to its full glory. So you get a large A4, which is different, very similar tone-wise, texture-wise, 8 by 8 six by six and then you get your four by four topper which has the buttons the butterflies the floral embellishments and all so on and so forth it's so so gorgeous so there we go so let's move this out of the way and let's have a look at what we're going to demonstrate let's make some space so let's just make some space here and then we can craft Female, yeah, female. She's not only a crafter, she likes to speak in public as well. <laughs> right. What I want to do today is, who's got a ton of these in the stash? Who's got a ton of these? Envelopes. Who's got a ton of these? Definite, definitely me because I have, uh, I just make cards in studio and they just go in a box for display and things like that. Has everybody got lots of them? Yeah, lots. I know. Wendy, yeah, lots. Leah, me, Shirley, Lynn, yes, me. I thought so. I have two. I'm sick of it. Well, you'll know that when I first started out crafting and things like that, I was making albums. Can you remember? Pocket albums, gift card wallets, memory albums. I've made some absolutely beautiful memory albums. But as time's gone by, I've progressed into stamps and die cuts. But today, we're going back in time. We're going to do a throwback, okay? And I'm going to show you how inexpensively you can create the most gorgeous books like that with envelopes okay because it's such a waste and they stack up and they stack up and they just get on my nerves so what we're going to do is we're going to be really creative so let me just show you what we're going to do now just grab a whole bunch of if you're doing it now with me just grab a whole bunch of envelopes a pile of it doesn't matter if they're five by seven eight by eight six by six whatever you've got go and grab a whole bunch of envelopes masses shit Barbara from Normandy, welcome to the channel, sweetheart. Valerie Cartwright, she's got stacks. Oh, it's just a nightmare, isn't it? So I'm going to show you how to use utilise them and make them look very pretty. So let's bring this into play here. So, a couple of envelopes. Let's just grab a few here. I mean, you can go on and on and on. So, several ways we can start making albums, which are super easy. Now you can get the tail ends of your envelopes and you can stick them together like so so you have this sort of effect because this can be a pocket inside your memory album if you want to you can take one of the tabs pop it inside the other push it in 
as neat as you can. And we've got a book, okay? So, let me just push that in a little bit further. And then, on this one here, you could push another one into the back of here to create that second page. Has anybody done this before? I think a lot of you who crafted with me for years will have done this. We've done very similar to this before. Create another page. And so on and so forth. So, shall I go ahead and show you? So... What I have done is, from that 6x6 six six pad, I've cut some of those beautiful pattern papers. Let me just grab these others here. So, so easy. So these were those pattern papers at 6x6, six six, and I just cut off the end. Can we see here? Just saved myself a um, mess and just cut those off the end. So what we'll do is we're going to create a gorgeous, gorgeous mini album. Yes, so the first clue, I'll just remind you, is this person is a female and not only does she craft, she likes to talk at public events as well. Stacks, Valerie Cartwright's got stacks. Uh, never seen this before, it's so easy Maggie. So let's put it together first. So all you can use wet glue, it depends if you're, if you're quick what sort of glue you're using. I like to use my tape pen just for speed. So all I'm going to do here is pop a bit of um, glue on this tab, just on the envelope here. I'm just going to take this envelope and I'm just going to push it in side. And then when I'm absolutely happy, and it does pretty much fit really snug. It looks really, really cool. When I'm happy, I'm just going to push it down and then I know it's grabbed inside. So then I'll have my beautiful page. I'll just set it a little bit straighter like so and then we've got a lovely um, flap here so really you could really just be creative you could create a second pocket on an envelope here but I'm going to go with popping this one in behind this one so I'm just going to pop some tape on here so really it's just a case of all the flaps get them tucked in anywhere possible where it'll allow you to now you can see here if you try and stick it in there now can you see I've got that tape in there it's not going to quite let me um, go in there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put this one in this one. Super easy. Wait till you start decorating the pages. You never know. When you start popping the pattern papers onto the envelopes, you never know that it's actually enveloped. It's so cool and it looks like you've done the pockets and things like that ahead of time and you've cut to measurements and things like that. And I'm also going to show you how you get the decorative element on the pocket as well with a pen. Just one second. Thanks for the clue. You're very welcome, Ronald. So let's just pop this in here. So basically a second envelope going on. When I'm happy it's in place. Stick it down. So can we see already? Make sure it's absolutely flat. When you're happy it's in place. Make sure it's lined up. Don't worry, it's going to be covered with paper. So if you get any mucky marks or anything like that, don't worry about it. So here you can go like this and stick the flap onto the back here because this one you might want to use it for photographs or a tag or something that's very special and you can pop it inside as well. <laughs> that's, oh, oh, that's because I have stuck it actually. Let me just make sure it's a little bit more sticky. Let's just pop some more on there. So you could have it so the page opens out. Shall we have it so the page opens out that way? And you see, you'll have that on the back, but it's okay, because guess what? When we cover it with our pattern papers, it's going to look amazing. So give it a good old push down score line. I'm going to leave that like that, I think, because I might want to use that as a decorative pocket for my album. And so on and so forth. So you're just going to keep going and going and going. Shall we just do a few more so we'll have some different types of pages? We can pop things in there. You can cover it with your paper if you don't want to see a pocket. I'm going to have to cover that because I've got a bit of tape there. But you can see where it's going, can't you? So let's just add some more. Let's be a little bit more creative. So I'm going to attach this one onto here. 
like so. Come see, so we'll have our back panel. And then I think we'll stop there. So I'm just going to line them up side by side. And then I'm just going to try and fold it over so it's at least straight. Sorry about the headshot, ladies and gents. Now we have sort of a lovely book coming together that's got lots of pot and a lot don't stick lots of pockets interest on there this makes sense so this won't have a visible pocket because i'm going to hide that one so let's pick some lovely pattern papers so these are the pattern papers from the time to grow now if you are crafting this evening with me you will have pattern papers and you most certainly will have envelopes so at no cost are you going to be able to craft along this evening which is brilliant isn't it we all love it when sort of we can use what we've got in, in our stash don't we so let's think about where we're going with this which way shall i go can i just show you another little trick as well go, let's go back to overhead quickly so you are seeing here how we've got this here now if you pop a pocket on the end of here like so you'll have open open let's do it so i'll have like a fold out pocket on this occasion try and get them straight if you can it always looks better if it's straight so we're seeing now so we've got one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that it? That's it. I think we'll stop there. Or else I'm going to be here all night. I could keep going and going and going. <laughs> so these are my pattern papers. So I have um, lots of different ones. So are you ready for your second clue? Are you ready for the second clue? So this lady's one of her most common sayings, and you'll hear her saying it so, so much. Failure is not an option. So it's female, the lady's female. She likes to speak in public as well as craft. And one of her favourite sayings is failure is not an option. Let's decorate our book now. Before we decorate the book, I just need to show you something else. Now, if you're wanting to take this book to that next level, let me just show you something here. So I have a piece of white cardstock and I scored one score line, then I scored a second score line on my cutting tool. So I've got like a little one millimetre gusset here. I am actually going to make a complete book here. So that gusset is going to house our album. So our album, whatever size envelopes you're using, okay? But to get this to stay in the album so it fits, this page here is going to stick to here. Does this make any sense at all? I hope I'm making some sense. So you'll glue this page here, like so, and then your back page will glue there. So our back book is free in the center please shout out if um, if i am completely lost you i think we're good i think we're good okay so shall we get this popped into our book first okay let's go for it so let's get some glue on the front page here so if you are on social media and you are on youtube please click the share button Please click that share button. We need to share the love of craft. I'm just popping this into... Don't get in trouble though. <laughs> and I need to know if you've popped shared as well on the screen. So I'm just going to pop this onto my book in place. And then I'm going to close the book onto it. So I know it's absolutely flat. So then when you open, look, our book is... Excuse the page that's sticking together for the time being. Like that. Can we see? So our book is joined at the front. 
and then this would make a great mother's i know it's tomorrow but a mother's day album a gift card photographs tickets for a holiday they would make so much you know to put things in and they're really quick to make as you can see i've done this from scratch but yes i have cut my papers ahead of time but and in the back of our book here Come on, share friends. Thank you, Enid. So you can see now our book is coming together. So now what's left to do, I'm going to cover the whole this one because I've got my tape there by mistake. And it um sort of like sticking as well. Have we all got what are we all drinking tonight? Does any, is anybody on the wine? <laughs> I'm on a sparkling water as always, as you know I don't drink, but sparkling water, what's everybody else drinking? Oh, we've got lots more people just joined us so let's just do another little shout out so megan turpin shared thank you so much joan donaldson shared susan carr shared pauline stracker let's have a look so let's get this one covered so i'm gonna pick i think this is just gorgeous can we see now so when you start to add those papers this is where it starts to come to life Pear cider. Karen is drinking cola. MS Porn Star Martini. <laughs> what? What on earth is that? MS Porn Star. Well, I never. Doreen is drinking a GT. I hope you all don't drink every day. Is it just because it's weekend or you're all going to tell me no? This is what you do every day. <laughs> so, this is our lovely pull out page, if you remember. So let's hide this ugliness here and let's add some detail on here, look. Wendy Dello loves sparkling water. That's me. I do love sparkling. I don't drink fizzy pop or anything like that, really. I just I do like water, if I'm honest. And I do have a gin and tonic at Christmas sometimes. Or if I'm at a special occasion or with a friend or something like that which is very rare but um so our lovely blue piece here can we see that there so here a great way to sort of um get this decorative part if you are wanting to make it into a pocket is just like this let me show you let's grab another piece of our pattern paper so shall we go let's go this one so all you do is let me just see if I've got a pen I did have a pen actually yeah so all you do is you get the cardstock okay you pop it inside and then you just get your pen and you sort of do a very light pen line Try not to hit your envelope, like so. You see that there? And then we take it out. Then we get our scissors. And we cut inside the line. And then what's going to, when we turn it over, hopefully it'll sit on there. She says, if you're not the best cutter in the world, you might want to skip this bit. But <laughs> it's a great, great way to get round it. So I'm just going to basically cut about half a centimetre away from that line I've just drawn. And then, when you pop it on, you see that there? You get the shape of your envelope. Just need to take a little bit more of this side. So great way to get round. There we go. Perfect. I'm happy with that now. Can we see there? 
so you get that lovely sort of pocket so now i'll be able to put a tag in there if i want to or something like that Sure, it's as straight as you possibly can go. And then we've got our lovely pocket design in there, so we could pop like uh, tickets to the cinema, and then let's turn it over. And let's do a coordinating pocket for this one, hey, on the back. So, has anybody else got their envelopes out now? Please say yes. <laughs> and then our next page. I'll sort them two together. Yeah. So in here, so I think I'm just going to cover these and I'll show you why in a second. Because we have some fabulous offcuts. Now you don't have to have every one as a pocket. And this is a great thing. This is why you don't actually know that it's actually envelopes. Are we ready for our next clue? This female who likes to also speak in public, who is a crafter, um, has been in the industry um, and it has been successfully in the industry for the last 17 years. 17 years, okay? One of her favourite sayings is, failure is not an option. Don't guess now. You have to guess at the end. Failure is not an option. So let's just pop that on there. And then our coordinating one on the other side. Uh, Sue, yes, we are still doing the navy cards. Taking so long, I know. I do apologise. Lots of things have had to be put on hold, unfortunately. So now we have... See, you would never know now that what was two envelopes. Not a chance. But the great thing about having offcuts, when you do an album, when you cut your pages down, you end up with this. And it's, it's cool. And I always think this happens for... Absolutely happens for a reason, you know, because, look... If you take one of them, pop it across the base, we can create a pocket. So let me just grab my trimmer. Let's pop a little line on here. And you can pop it into your trimmer. Let's do two, one for each one. I promise you, when you do one of these, right, you'll end up doing ten. It's so good. It's so good. When you've done one, you'll be sticking envelopes together left, right and centre. And it's a, just a technique uh, I just love to visit and to get particularly to get these used. All sizes as well, it works with all sizes. So here, let's get some tape down the side. Get that my tape pen done. Oh, don't break. Oh, looks like we're onto the glue. Let's just move this out of the way. So annoying because there's half a roll left on that. Does anybody else hate that? So frustrating. So let me just check, make sure this glue is activated. I think this might be a new one. Is it a new one? No. Just make sure it's not blocked. Yeah, so two look use the hair where's my other one if you are making an album always use tape and glue okay because um, the tape eventually dries out and the album will just drop to bits but if you do both red liner and glue you just know it's going to be absolutely good to go for the foreseeable um, it, it does hold its own Okay, so just bear that in mind. If it's for somebody precious and you're using your best papers, I mean, if you've got craft coloured envelopes and things like that, absolutely awesome. You can make um, craft sort of coloured 
albums, navy albums, pink, if you've not used your pink top, top folding note cards either, you know, so, so cool. So I'm just gluing the edges here. I'll just stick this one down. Make sure you don't glue so far in because you'll not get that tag in or that topper in or something like that. Oh, everybody's saying they think they know. Okay, keep your lips sealed. Keep your lips sealed. I've got when I tell you the next clue, you're probably all gonna guess anyway. <laughs> Is anybody else going to do, be doing this uh, envelope album? Is anybody going to give it a go? If you do, please make sure you share it on our Eureka fan page. We'd love to see your makes. So there we go. So say, for instance, this was a tag. You just pop a few tags in with some twine on. Uh, you could stick it at the bottom. But another cool, cool thing as well is let me just really should stick it across the bottom as well. But I've done it now. But another cool thing to do is, right, let's turn our page here. So on this one, let's get out some pattern paper. Let's go with this one. No, I don't want to because I want to show you something. Let's go with this wood grain. Give it a go tomorrow, okay? Let me know how you get on. Oh, Roseanne, you're not late to the party. We're just doing a little envelope album here, sweetheart. So using all of those envelopes we have in our stash, which build up and build up and frustrate us all. I'm showing you how to sort of use them as a bit of a um, con consumable, should we say, so you can get them used and get them out the door. I mean, I would. What would anybody else think about charging for an album like this? I mean, if you're on a craft fair, and I'd definitely use my corner punch to round that edge off, give it a beautiful finish. But you could at least what two or three pounds, five pounds. I mean, if you're putting embellishments and things in, you could, couldn't you? So what I'm going to do here is shall we have it as an open pocket? Um, shall we have it as tucked in? Oh, what shall we do? Well, we could have it as a straight pocket, couldn't we? If we glue it as a straight pocket, shall we glue it as a straight pocket? I'm not sure now. Now let's leave it as a pocket. Let's do the same colour. I will. Sue says she will be giving it a go to. Okay. Don't forget to share our video, ladies and gents. Let's pop this on here. Now I just made the fatal mistake, I've got glue under there, haven't I? So now I am going to have to, sorry, I am going to have to now, I've glued it. Oh, what a shame. That's because I'm talking, never mind. But I can show you something quite cool as well on this one, like we just did with our bottom pocket there. You can also create like a cool belly band as well. Let me just show you. So you can create like, um, let me just show you, uh, one in the middle. So we'll just use that blue part. That looks nice, doesn't it? So let's just cut this here. Kathy Rothera says she always got lots of envelopes. I know. Me too. And then with this sort of idea, so the belly band in the middle is to sort of like, so you can put a bookmark or something in something that's maybe longer in design. So you're just going to pop some glue down the left and the right. So Stefan Chatterton, hello sweetheart, welcome to the channel. Say she's never seen this before. Oh, it's been around a long time. Can't can't take credit for it if I'm completely honest. I think somebody inspired me about ten years ago, and I've, it's just been a one that I have gone to for a long time. And I think sometimes we just don't utilise those pretty papers we have, and it's a good way to outsource your 
oops it is it outsource your envelopes as well so now i'll just give it a second to grab there and then if you've got maybe a bookmark or a fridge magnet or something you can pop it in like that on an angle and then pop a brad or a piece of um such like oh, so i'm gonna cover so we're getting there is everybody okay to stay with me <laughs> is everybody having fun i hope so i hope i'm not boring you all to death i think we need to get henry in to cheer you all up what do we all think <laughs> So I'm just gonna gonna need a little bit more paper out on my six by six by six paper pad. So here again we could do that cutaway and then, or we could just do the comp. Yeah, I'll do the cutaway on that last page. Anyone in the Bolton area? Teresa shouting out. Anyone in the Bolton area? So I'm just gonna grab the six by six pad. Here, I'm just gonna cut get some more oh that paper. Oh, it's all delicious. Let's use this one hey with the stripe. I'm just gonna cut this one to size. It seems criminal, doesn't it, to cut into these, but you know it's so worth it. That's why we buy them, don't we? To use them. So I'll just move that to the side. And I'm out a second. Absolutely love a, an album like this who wouldn't love an album like this it's crazy and look i've done it start to finish with you and you i mean I, yes the paper was pre-cut and i'm just cutting two more here but other than that we will have to cut our front cover as well i think but hey ho so let's go back to the back here I'm going to cut, I don't want to cut that away, so I'm going to cover the whole piece here. Tina's getting those envelopes out and she's having a go. These are some little 5 by 6 envelopes, I believe, that I just had knocking around in my craft drawer uh, next door um, in my art room. But equally, I'm absolutely certain you've all got tons and tons of envelopes knocking about so another great way of using your papers as well is you can create a corner so if you've got two pieces of card the same if you just cut one on an angle then you'll have a corner on your um, piece of cardstock too shall we do that actually Let's cut our cardstock on an angle. I'm just showing you variational ways of sort of getting the most out of pockets and things like that. So I'm going to come to the point up here. Um, I don't want to lose much of that rose because I like it. So you can have that as pocket as well if you want to. So there's absolutely no waste. So cool. Irene Murphy, these are addictive once you start. Pauline, so so relaxing, really. Liz Cotton, it's brilliant. Question, question. Um, Adele, did you use slightly smaller envelopes for the middle pages? I didn't. Exactly the same. They fit in. They don't go quite in. About a mil off, Adele. But they'll go in. So here, look, because we've cut two pieces exactly the same, it's like a hidden pocket. Does that make sense? Because our um, pattern is the same. So let's just go down the side here. And up the side here. Can we see that here? So now we've got this lovely pocket. Let's just show you. Pop a little photo in there. Just give it a second to grab. And there really is the inside of our book. Two pockets here. Pop 
pocket inside there. Now you could, can we sort of hide maybe I pull that go in there and hide that white space at the back. So this is an off cut. No. So when if I cut another piece and popped it inside there to get rid of that white. Okay, so just bear that in mind. So let's do the front of our book now. I want to do a closure on my book. Where is my off cut of white? Here we go. So my off cut of white cardstock from the actual book itself. So you can see here it looks really neat and tidy. Definitely going to do this tomorrow. Brilliant. Cheers me up. So to do a closure, there's lots of ways you can do a closure. You can do a full belly band wrap. In fact, let's see if we can do a full belly band wrap. Right, let's do a full belly band wrap because that was meant to be, wasn't it? So I'm just going to take a piece of my paper first for my front cover. So I'm going to go to the 8x8 and I'm going to pick the piece. I think I like that strap. Oh, what we're thinking for the front. They're all so different and they're all so yummy. Um, keep going, keep going. I'm going to go music. Oh, I don't know. Does anybody else have this problem? Let's go grey. <laughs> Does anybody else have this problem? So I'm just going to pop this onto my cutter here. Now you would decorate the front and the back. But for speed I'm just going to go for it here. I find my nail there we go Lynn's cooking whilst watching all good so simple but yeah effective I know it's so good isn't it are we all are we all ready for the next clue it's Friday night it's Saturday Sunday whoop are we ready I'm still here. Just I'm just enjoying this. But I am still here, I promise. So the next clue is where you're all gonna probably go, I know it is, I know it is, maybe maybe, I'm not sure. So the next clue is this lady has blonde hair. Do not put it on here, not yet, it's not time. This lady has blonde hair, so she likes to speak in public. She's been crafting for 17 years. Um one of her favourite sayings is failure is not an option and she has blonde hair. I'll leave it with you. Back to craft. Ready? <laughs> so let's get our front cover on here. Now, don't forget, if you have my corner punch or a corner punch, round your corners off. Make it look like an expensive book. Maybe distress the edges if you like to. Um, Michaela's still clueless. <laughs> don't be saying, don't be saying. <laughs> Glynis is winking. Oh, dear. I think some of you may know. I have one more clue, which is definitely going to put the nail in the coffin for it. <laughs> So, I mean, look at our gorgeous book. Look at our gorgeous book. It's so pretty. Right, let's get our belly band. So, the way that I do a belly band is this is the off cut from my, ba my base card. I'll pop it in here. Now, we have belly bands on the website as well with decorative elements in there as well. But I always just pull it in and then pull the other side in. Now, bear in mind, if you are packing this with uh, photos and memorabilia, tags toppers do not make your belly band until all of the components are inside and done because what will happen is you'll make it and it won't slide on and off your project because you've filled it full of goodies okay so just bear that in mind so let's get some glue under here i'm just going to give it a little bit of slack like so and then we just need a piece of A4. This is the beauty of having A4 
eight by eight. So for this for the pages I used six by six, I had hardly no waste, which are these side cuts which we did for pockets and things. For the front I needed eight by eight because it wasn't quite big enough for six by six. And to create a full length cover mount of this belly band, I'm gonna have to use um A4. Christine Bethany's got it. Right, hopefully that's held. I'll just pop that on top there, like so. So let's just grab our A4. Um, yep, yeah, let's just grab our A4. Now the A4, again, all of them are stunning. So if you are buying them and you are making albums, I would get them all. But equally, you might have some paper in your stash. It is a book as well, it's bound. We bound them because I don't like the dog's ears on what happens to paper pads. So um, let's have a look which one we can cut. What's going to go with... Oh, that might be nice, might it? Shall we go with that one? And you have to physically tear them out as well. Hopefully without any problems. There we go. I mean, look at that. I'm going to use... Shall we use that? That would be cool, won't it? Let's use that. Let's use the lace. Oh my gosh, tonight's... Oh, I'm not going to speak too soon. Don't speak too soon. Tonight's studio's been amazing. I've so enjoyed myself. Has everyone else? It's not even over yet. And I'm still... I'm saying I've had a great time. <laughs> so all I'm going to do here is... I'm just going to grab my paper and I'm going to hopefully see if I can get that bit of lace on there. Look at that. Ooh, gorgeous. Let's get that bit of lace. Lace border is stunning. I need to take some off because it's a little bit fat. And hopefully this is going to go together. Can't believe how quickly you've made. I know. And I'm talking and I'm multitasking. It's all that about. So hopefully this will just fit nicely with a little border. Could do with maybe a little bit more off, maybe. Let's just take a little bit more off. Just a tiny bit, just so we get a little bit of a white border. And this is going to decorate our lovely belly band. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have, well, this will be at the back anyway. So let's just take that off. And then, let's just see what it looks like. Look at that. Isn't that just so pretty? But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring the um, the the join on this one to the front because I'm going to put an embellishment on the front so it'll hide the join, okay? So let's just see where it's going to meet. So it is going to meet in the centre, really. So let's get some glue along here. Kathy Rothera has an idea. Christine Shride, you are an inspiration. I wouldn't say I'm an inspiration. I just, I do love the love of craft. I just, and I want to share it. I just love sharing. I just love sharing the craft. And I just know if it makes anyone as happy as it makes me, we're absolutely in it for the same reasons. So let's get our belly band on here. Look, so I'm just going to pop that on there. Now, if you're a little bit unsteady with your hands or... You're not great with your hands, which I know some of you aren't. Um, don't worry about it. Maybe put this on before you actually, um, you know, do like stick this on before you actually do the wrap itself. Does that make sense? Just to make life easier for yourself. Oops, a daisy. Now I have just lost everybody's comments there. It's all just gone off. I don't know why that's happened. But did I just say studio was running fantastically? And now I'm sat in the dark. What is all that about? Well, hopefully you can still see my um, hands. Hopefully you can all still see me. I've just lost everybody's comments. It's all just switched itself off. But I am still here and I am still going to carry on regardless. That's me and my big mouth. I cannot keep it shut. Tonight's studio went amazing. Five minutes later, done. Nightmare. Right, there we go, look. 
So I'm just going to give that a massage. So we've got a seamless, apart from this part here, but look at that. So pretty. Do I like that? So when you come to pop it on, hopefully we've left enough space to pop it in. So you can see now I've got our lovely belly band there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take some of our lovely embellishments that I actually pre-cut for TV. I'm just going to clear my station a little bit. Let's get a bit of a tidy station going on here. So we're just going to try and sort out comments for you. So if you see Tim helping me out, don't worry about it. He's on standby because, as you all know, I'm still learning. So let's just bag, grab our embellishments here. Look at all these. These were from what I cut from TV. So you get absolutely tons of embellishments. So I'm going to decorate the front of my album. Now, oh, look at these here. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm not even going to tell you what's happened now. Am I still here? <laughs> it was going so well. Anyway, let's. Get, whilst we're sorting everything out, let's give you the last and final clue. Now, this is a deal breaker, okay? Absolute deal breaker. And you're all going to guess and you're all going to be like, are you kidding me? So, this person is from the USA. Yes, this person is flying from the USA. And I'm very honoured, let me tell you. It's flying from the USA to do a live studio in the How to Craft Network. Are you all have you all got your jaw on have you all got the jaw on the floor like I was when this got organised? Probably yes. Now I'm just grabbing, I'll just show you some of the embellishments I have going on here, look. So you can see where this is going. Also, in the paper set, I get you get lots of like, I can't really grab it all out without it being total chaos. Now I can see all your comments again, ladies and gents. I'm not sure what happened about that. But I can take a small drama. We didn't have school friends on school time, air tap, FaceTime and things like that. So I'm good, I'm good. I'm just trying to dig out some of the lovely flowers that I've cut. See these flowers here? Absolutely gorgeous. You get windows, you get mirrors, you get postcards. You get gold frames. Now, if you went over this with a little bit of gold in wax, you would be able to see that. Oh, I can't wait. Don't say the name. If you think it is, don't say the name. I can just see the comments there so we're good we're good i'm going to stick with it so let's just get this onto here and then we will have a quick guess I'm ready look at this does this not look cool i mean come on it, just a few pads so this is where you would hide that nasty join okay personalize if you've got per, if you've got purse if you've got die cut letters Carol says she definitely would make one to store the old photos of family. Of course, wouldn't that be cool? Let's just have a look here. So you're just going to tie all of those colours. That looks real, doesn't it? Tie all of those colours in to your album, whatever it may be. Now you can pop pads underneath if you want to. And then we have some little embellishments that you can put pads underneath. We've got some beautiful daisies in here. We've got some blue flowers. Let's go with blue. Let's 
Those daisies are nice though, aren't they? They look 3D, absolutely gorgeous. Let's just place before we... I will pop some more greenery on it, I promise. I'm just going to go with this for now. So you get buttons, clocks, flowers, greenery. So if you have got this, I know a lot of you have got this. Tomorrow, I now want to see lots of envelope albums using your time to grow papers. I know where you all live. I will come and find you. I shouldn't really say things like that, okay? They're getting arrested. So let's just get a tidy station here and let's just have a quick walk through this album very quickly. All of the bits, if you have a, an evening spare and you're not right into wanting to do maybe um, crafting and such, get the bits and pieces out and maybe just do a bit of fussy cutting on the couch, pop them in an envelope like I have here because these pieces are set all will do pockets tags corners and everything oh, i don't really want to stop now but let me just show you they've no time it's oh gosh so in here look with your albums and things like that and your pages you've got all of these toppers which have now just gone flying across my table clocks and things like that look at these here so you can embellish the pockets them all away now but you could sort of like make little corner pockets as well what have I just done with my glue here we go so this the deco decorating part of it's absolutely gorgeous use all of the components decorate those pages this could actually go half on and half off the page does that make sense so it just looks like it's not an envelope so we just sort of finish that edge it's a pocket but it's sort of like got a decorative so maybe you didn't cut that pocket quite right And then in here you could pop maybe your little embellishments. On this pocket we could pop a window at the base so it just decorates our pocket so it's not flat. You see where I'm going with it, don't you? And so on and so forth. And then bits and pieces. Little days are here. I don't want to stop now. I'll still be crafting when I've gone off air. <laughs> Something to make next week, Christine, when it rains. Of course, because it is going to rain. And there we go. I have to stop now. I do have to stop. Let me move all of this out of the way. Right, so let's close our book. Decorate the back too. I've run out of time, unfortunately. But as well, look how lot gorgeous it looks for your photography as well. There we go. I'm going to leave it at that. What do we all think? Do we like it? I hope it, I hope I've inspired you to use your um, envelopes. Now, after I've gone off air, pop a comment underneath this video. I'm going to send the full collection of the paper pads for time to grow. But please don't think I'm not going to comment because I have the time to grow collection. Because if you have the time to grow collection and you win and you PM me your address and say I've already got it, you can pick something else from my website. It's a website, it's a great giveaway. So all the more reason to interact, all the more reason to comment, okay? So after I've gone off air, pop a comment underneath about the album, if you like it or not. Okay, so that's that. Make sure you do that. Lastly, I have my timer. You have all the clues. Let's just do a quick rundown of the clues very quickly. So this lady, lady, likes to speak in public. One of her favourite sayings is failure is not an option. She's been in the industry and has been around and has been successful for 17 years. She has blonde hair and she lives in the USA. And she's flying to the UK on Sunday to do a How to Craft Network studio with me 
and my family business on Monday at one o'clock. Are you ready? I will do the I will do the counter. Don't comment until I've twisted. When I've twisted, you need to type the name of who you think it is. And if you don't know who it is, just put I have still have no idea. Ready, steady, go. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and stay quiet. This is a two minute timer, two minute counter, so I'm giving you plenty of time to type. Oh I, I can imagine you're all like that now after your gin and tonics. Woo! <laughs> Drum roll, countdown. So we have Wow, Sue Wilson, Tina Zink, Anna Griffin. Anna Griffin, Sue Wilson, Teresa Collins, Anna Griffin, Teresa Collins, Sue Wilson, Sue Wilson. Oh, it's running out of time. You better be quick. Anna Griffin, Anna Griffin, Sue, Teresa, Sue. <laughs> oh, Miss Collins, Anna Griffin, Martha Stewart, Teresa Collins, Martha Stewart. Wow, Anna Griffin. Somebody's put no idea. Sarah Davis does not live in the USA. Anna Griffin, come on, 20 seconds. <laughs> You're all really trying to type so fast. And there's loads of spelling mistakes as well. That's me, that's something I do. Ah, panic, panic. Oh, don't know the name. The founder of American Crafts, Karen says. Jennifer Maguire. Oh, <laughs> Teresa Collins. And your time stops now. Sue Wilson, Anna Griffin, they're all still coming through because I know we're on a little bit of a delay. So, the lady who wrote the book, Kay says, are we ready? <laughs> Jennifer Maguire, I'll let the last few comments come through and then I will tell you. Martha Stewart. The lady from the book you mentioned, not sure of her name. Anna Griffin, don't know. TC, Sue Wilson, TC. So, the suspense is over, I'm going to tell you, because it's killing me as well <laughs> to keep giving you clues and not be able to tell you. So, next Monday, live in studio at one o'clock for a craft off is Teresa Collins. <laughs> Teresa Collins, how did that happen? You're all going to say, how did that happen? I can't tell you. I cannot tell you. It's top secret. Me and Teresa will talk about it on Monday at one o'clock. Uh, how all this came about, all I will say to you is I have found another version of me living in the USA. She's so lovely. She is a genuine person. She's a crafter. She's beautiful inside and out. She's had tragedy. She's had, uh, she's now currently a hero. She talks in public. It's just, she's just an amazing person and I cannot wait for you all to meet her, including me. I have had lots of conversations with Teresa, but face to face, I'm so nervous, I can't tell you. And then on Monday, uh, we're all going to go out for some food as a, our family and Teresa's family as well. So I'm just so excited. So Teresa Collins from the USA, it doesn't get much better. And guess what? She's good friends with Tim Holt. So I've already said, knock, knock, let's get Tim Holt on here as well. Could you imagine? That would be amazing. But you know what? Teresa Collins, it doesn't get any better. So that's it from me. You know the secret is out. Put it in your diary, save the day. It's going to be amazing. We've got loads of Teresa Collins products as well, which are going to be live on the website. I'm going to have a live counter and we're going to be crafting together. And let me tell you, planners and washi tape and ephemera, papers, pin badges. Got it all going on on Monday at one o'clock. You've got to come and say hi, even if you're not... Uh, you don't know the lady or maybe you've not been a follower it's time to come and say hello absolutely amazing so whatever you're doing have a lovely evening pop a comment underneath this video about the news or about the album i've made and i will be doing a fantastic giveaway show your support if you are um going to stay on youtube right now make sure you go over to Teresa collins youtube and subscribe to her channel this evening she has got the most uplifting channel, empowering channel you could possibly imagine. It's totally different to anything we've seen in the UK and it excites me greatly. So whatever you're doing, enjoy your gin and tonics, your cups of teas, your juice, your sparkling water. And I'll see you all this coming Monday at one o'clock for the Create Together Club. See you all later, everyone. Bye, guys.